It's Jason Abraham, the shadow teacher. And today, I'm going to read a passage to you, to share this passage from the book, New Seeds of Contemplation by Thomas Merton. And regardless of your religious beliefs or spiritual practice, I find there's universal truth in this passage I'm going to read. So I'm not going to share any kind of commentary. I'm just going to let the words be there for those who need to receive them and let the message be what it is for what you need to receive. So here it goes. The mind that is the prisoner of conventional ideas and the will that is the captive of its own desire cannot accept the seeds of an unfamiliar truth and a supernatural desire. For how can I receive the seeds of freedom if I am in love with slavery? And how can I cherish the desire of God if I am filled with another and an opposite desire? God cannot plant his liberty in me because I am a prisoner and I do not even desire to be free. I love my captivity and I imprison myself in the desire for the things that I hate and I have hardened my heart against true love. I must learn, therefore, to let go of the familiar and the usual and consent to what is new and unknown to me. I must learn to leave myself in order to find myself by yielding to the love of God. If I were looking for God, every event and every moment would sow in my will grains of his life that would spring up one day in a tremendous harvest. Be well, my friends. See you on the other side.